Welcome, Magnus here. Recently, I did a video comparing the R5 Mark I and the R5 Mark II in sharpness tests when it comes to recording in RAW, specifically 4K60, but I did 4K24, and did I touch 4K 120? I don't believe I did, but I didn't have to. And the conclusion for that video was basically the R5 Mark II in 4K60 and even 4K24 does some sort of oversampling when recording in 4K S RAW. So one person asked me, hey, what about the R6 or in essentially the R6 Mark II? Is it sharper or as sharp as the R6 Mark II? So I was curious too. So that's what today's video is about. Let's see in specifically 4K60, R6 versus the R5 Mark II, and I'm doing the R6 at 60 frames per second only versus the R5 Mark II at 60 frames per second in RAW. Because the R6 in 60 frames per second regular codex, you're just going to get a line skipped version, which isn't as good, which we saw in the previous test. If you wanna see it, check out my last video and you'll see that. But without further ado, let's look at the 4K60 S RAW on the R5 Mark II versus the 4K 60 frames per second on the R6. Now we've got the video up on my screen. I'm gonna switch mode so that you can see the, the R6 4K 60 frames per second in this quick little shot. I blurred out some of it because I had some personal stuff written on the board. But from this shot, you can tell it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty standard. It looks like a pretty sharp image. I'm using a 50 millimeter lens on the R6 and I've got a 1600 ISO at 2.8 f-stop and I'm focused in on the bear. Now on the R5 Mark II, which you can see in this shot right here, same settings, 1600 ISO, except I'm recording in 4K S-RAW at 60 frames per second. So from this shot, you can basically see that I had them positioned at the same distance and though it was a little kind of angled off, they're still pretty much the same shot. Now you can see when comparing both cameras, the R6 is a little bit brighter and that's because the, the better uh, low light performance that you get from the R6 versus the R5 Mark II due, due to its lower resolution as one of the key clues. But also it handles color differently. Now when you look at both images side by side, they look pretty sharp, but when you close up, up to 500%, and I'll pause it right here because it's kind of going a little fast for me. In this shot, we're looking at a 500% increase on the resolution on both of them. So we are like crazy zoomed in on both and both are doing a great job of resolving those small little details. Now when you compare the R6 4K at 60 frames per second, you could pretty much read that four ages something and up right here on the R on the R6. Now when you look at the R5 Mark II, with its S raw, you could almost kind of see what it's saying, but it's got a little discoloration because with the R6, what you're going to get is the camera's gonna naturally do some noise reduction and sharpening that you're not getting when you just record raw footage on the R5 Mark II, but there's still a lot of detail there. I could almost see a little bit more detail, but of course there's a little bit more noise on the R5 Mark II because again, more megapixels, and the fact that it's not doing any denoising because it's just the raw footage. Now let's go to a different portion of the same video to, again, test for sharpness. I closed up on two um, markers right here at the end of the whiteboard. Now on this comparison, you can make out at 500% what the actual markers say. There's something that says like magnetic on each of them. However, there's some discoloration on the R5 Mark II's uh, video and that's again because raw hasn't really been processed there's a lot of color noise and there's no denoising effect that's brought in post to the r5 mark ii because it's basically letting you do all of that and you could kind of read that the markers is magnetic but again there's a little bit more color noise and the r5 mark ii doesn't seem to be as sharp because of the fact that there is no sharpening in post but i can confirm here that you are getting oversampled footage on the R5 Mark II, and we were able to see that in the last test, and it's really comparable to the original R6. But I wanted to do a little step further in this comparison, because what if we did have a uh, sharpened and uh, denoised image on the R6 versus the R5 Mark II? And here's a shot of denoised footage from that uh, same footage, but it's denoised on the R5 Mark II in SRAW 60 frames per second. 
it looks really sharp. It looks really good when compared to the 4K 60 frames per second on the R6. So I'm very impressed with the raw footage that you actually get off of the R5. Now, there's significantly less noise when we close up in here, but because I did some sharpening, it there is some sort of discoloration. It looks like color fringing, um, chromatic aberration type of effect on the letters, but you can see a lot more sharpness on the R5 Mark II since I increased that sharpness, where you don't have any discoloration on the R6 at 60 frames per second. Now here we go again with the markers. I see a lot more detail that's up on the actual markers up here, but the letters themselves do have that chromatic aberration discoloration over here, uh, where on the regular R6, you don't have any of that discoloration, again, processed in camera, but it is a little bit softer because it's not as sharpened as what the R5 Mark II can do in post. So that's got to be kept in mind that there's some discoloration in that raw footage, but looking at both shots they're very very highly detailed over sampled on the r5 mark ii and the r6 which is great now we know from my previous test that i did last week that the r5 mark ii can give you even sharper footage if you record 8k 60 and you could down sample that to 4k or leave it at 8k and you get incredibly sharp footage the r5 mark ii in sharpness can outperform the R5, uh, and it's comparable to the 4K60 in the R6. So I think that the R5 Mark II, from a sharpness perspective in RAW, is great. I would use RAW for 60 frames per second, 24 frames per second, and 30 frames per second on the R5 Mark II in 4K without worrying too much about a detail image because you are getting an oversampled detail image off of the R5 Mark II. Just wanted to just throw another camera in there for this test, and I think we've got the results. Got a few more tests coming up in future videos, but if you like this one, definitely consider subscribing. My name is Magnus, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. See you guys next time, and if you got any more ideas, let me know in the comment down below, and I'll test it on the camera and let you guys know. See you later. Magnus Video Productions